Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to analyze the questions about structural analysis. The question will be analyzed due to moment distribution method. And uh, uh, you can see that there is a pin and roller and fixed. So uh, let's solve the question. The first I'm going to uh, find the, the fixed and moments. For fixed and moment, uh, it ends with, you can see it ends with pin, the left part. So I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just going to find the fix and moment from B to A. Fix and moment from B to A is 3 PL over 16, 3 times 20 times A, uh, L, what is L? 8 over 16 is 30, okay? 30 kilonewtons and meter. And uh, fix and moment from B to C, from B to C, that will be WL squared over 12, so 3 times 8 squared over 12, that will be minus 16 kilonewton meter. And for fix and moment, fix and moment, CB, that will be equal to also the positive of this value. And so let's uh, find the stiffness factors, stiffness factors for uh, BA, Okay, for BA, for BA is from B to A, that will be 4, sorry, uh, I'm going to use the modified, one second, uh, yes, modified, from B to A, that will be 3 times, what is my EI, the inertia is 2 EI, okay, over 8, that is 6 EI, over 8. Stiffness factors from B to C, from B to C, that will also be uh, 4. What is my EI? 3 EI over 8. So that is 12 EI over 8. It's okay. So now let's find the distribution factors. Distribution factors for, for example, BA is 6 EI over 8 over 6 EI over 8 plus 12 EI over 8 and this is also equal to 0.333 for now distribution factor for the pin on roller end is 1 it's a rule and uh, also for the fixed end for fixed end, it is zero. And now for the BA, I do, I've determined it. If I subtract from the one, I will determine also the other one, okay? For the other side. Because the summation of them must be equal to the one. And uh, let's write the fixed end moments. Fixed end moments is here zero. And uh, here is 30, okay? From BA. Uh, for from BC is minus 16 and from CV is also 16 okay and distribution how I'm going to find the distribution for the distribution I'm going to take the summation of this both moment okay summation of this both moment I'm going to multiply it with its own distribution factor and I'm going to take the negative of that okay so let's do it distribution for, for BA, okay? So that will be 30 minus 16 times its own distribution factor times minus 1. Okay, and this is equal to minus 4.662. For distribution also, distribution, distribution from BC from B to C that will be 30 minus 16 times its own distribution factor and times minus 1 that will be also minus 9.338 okay now I'm going to write its own place then so that will be minus 4.662 and minus 9.338. 
For now, I'm going to make a carryover. Carryover, when I do that, I'm going to take the half of that at the, the, the cross side. Okay, for example, the half of that is going to uh, come here, but it cannot because I use a modified formula. That's okay, I, here is close for that, but this one, it will, half of that will come here and will be equal to minus 4.669. Okay, the half of that will come to here. Don't forget it. And now you can see there is no any distribution. So there is any carry over here. So I won't go uh, continue to make uh, another distribution and another carry over. And it's finished here. So let's write the moments. The moment, the moment will be summed from the fix and moment. Okay, until the last call. So the last row. Okay from this until the last row. And the last row, so let's do it. 30, this is, sorry, this is positive also. I, it, it doesn't mean that is negative. Uh, one second. Uh, sorry. It doesn't allow me. Okay. I'm going to take 30, 30 plus minus 4.6, uh, minus 4.662. And it will be equal to 25.338, okay? And this one will be uh, minus 16 plus minus 9.338. That will be equal to minus 25.338. And this is also be going to uh, equal to 11.331. And now I define the moments. So let's uh, find the shears. So let's find the shears. How am I going to find the shears? For this one, now it's going to be like something like that. For example, this is my first member. Okay. And I have a, a, a shear VA. I have VB left. Okay. And I have a force. It acts, it acts at the middle of a member. 20 and I have a moment as a moment here as 25.338. So now let's write total moments. I'm going to say that the total moment, total moment, sorry, total moment at B it's going to be equal to zero. Total moment at B is equal to zero. So minus minus VA. VA times 8 and minus 25.338 and of course plus plus 20 times 4 is equal to 0. This direction is positive. Okay. And now the VA will be equal to will be equal to 6.83 or so I have turned to 832 kilonewton. And when I take the uh, total Fy, total Fy is equal to zero. And I'm going to take 20 minus uh, 6.832 and minus Vb left. Okay. That will be equal to zero. And Vb left is 13.167 children. And now I find for the first part, let's find for the second part. For the second part will be, I'm going to draw here. This is my second part. There is a VB right. And there is a also here, sorry. There will be a VC. And total moment also, again, we are going to say is equal to zero. And we are going to define from there. I'm going to write the moment, right? It will be uh, 25.338, okay? Uh, and of course, I have a force here. I have a force as three times eight and 24. 24 will act at this point, four to four, okay? So now, Let's write the equation. The total moment at B is equal to zero. I'm going to write a 25.338, okay, minus 
11.331 and minus 24 times 4 and plus VC times 8 is equal to 0 and VC is here equal to 10.249 kilo Newton and the total FY is equal to 0 uh, I'm going to take 24 minus 10.249 minus V B right is equal to 0 and V B right is equal to 13 13.750 kilo and now I find the shears let's draw the shears and the moment diagrams and I'm going to draw the, more, the shear diagram here. And this is three supports. And, and at A, I have a shear as, now you can see I have a shear as 6.832. Okay, I'm going to raise up with 6.832. 6 32. And I will continue with this amount until I faced with force. Now, I, for, for example, I face force here. The force will act as downward and 20, okay? I am goes down as 20. That will be, that will be 14. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be 13, sorry. 13.8. One six seven, and I will continue with this, and I will stop here. At B, I have a two force. One is V B left, one is V B right. When I take the summation of them and I subtract from the thirteen point one six seven, I will obtain. I will raise up. I will raise up. I will raise up, and I will reach thirteen point seven seven five. Okay. And now you can see I have a, a distributed load. So at, uh, from B to C, if I have a distributed load, I will going to decrease. I going to decrease as a triangular. Okay, as a triangular. Uh, what is the force here? It's 24, right? I will decrease from that point. I will decrease from that point. Now you can see from that point, I will decrease until, for example, that point, and that will be equal to 10. Point Two five one. Okay. Now I decrease as uh, I decrease as sorry I decrease as twenty four because it's a distributed load and it will be triangular shape. And now you can see this is my yeah this is my shear diagram. Let's draw the moment diagram also. Let's draw the moment diagram. Uh, I can draw it here. This is my first support, and uh, I have a moment. I actually, I, I have any moment. I have no any moment here. It's moment zero. So I am going to uh, start with this point, and I'm going to raise up at this amount of area. And this is also, you know, four. This is four. Yeah, and uh, this is x is four point four point five eight three. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to raise with this amount of area, and when I raise, it will I will reach to to this point. That will be twenty seven point three. One second, that will be linear, but it I couldn't draw it as linear. Yeah, I, I think this is better. This is better. That will be uh, twenty seven point twenty seven point three to age and then I'm going to decrease at this amount of area okay at this amount of area so when I decrease at this amount of area I will goes down goes down and I will reach which at this point 25 25.344 point three four four okay and then at this point you can see I uh, also again has to raise up 
uh, at this amount of triangular area and now you have the bottom length and you have the, uh, the top length so you can find the area of that when I raised at this amount of area I will raise parabolic for example at this point that will be uh, 6.18 and then I'm going to go down at this amount of area. Okay. And I will obtain, I will obtain this point as 11.33. Now you can see the question is that uh, we draw the shear and the moment diagrams. Uh, thank you for watching me.